For today's episode of Netlinked, we're going to change up the content a little bit, so I'm sorry if this catches you off guard. What we're going to focus on today specifically is tech news. It might take some getting used to, but I'm sure you'll manage. Also, yes, uh, Jack's still in Las Vegas, so I, uh, I mean, I'm sure you'll see him later this week. I certainly hope so. Apple's iPhone 7 will apparently look pretty much the same as the 6S when it launches this fall. The Wall Street Journal reports that Apple is saving their major redesign for the next iPhone, which will launch in 2017. One thing that will change in the iPhone 7, though, is the headphone jack. According to their sources, all those rumors about Apple removing the port are true, but because the included earbuds will still use a traditional connector, the phone will also come with a 3.5mm to lightning adapter in the box. I understand the benefit of running headphones through the lightning port, but is getting rid of the audio jack really worth it to shave off that extra millimeter? Apple? Uh, who am I kidding? They don't watch this show. Drones are growing up. They just don't need us anymore. Israeli company Aerobotics has a drone system that takes care of launching, landing, flying, and even swapping batteries autonomously. Well, not entirely. A worker will use the accompanying software to set flight paths, monitor camera feeds, and whatnot. The drone, called the Optimus, can carry a one kilogram payload for up to 30 minutes as it patrols a facility, conducts safer equipment inspections, and reminds workers that they're constantly being watched, so no funny business. Great news for industrial facilities and for rebel drones that won't have to worry about swapping batteries when they revolt against humanity. And a sort of scandal has erupted in recent days regarding review samples of graphics cards from Asus and MSI. Some tech reviewers noticed that the 1080s and 1070s they received seemed to run at a slightly higher clock speed than retail cards. Asus and MSI have since responded, saying that the review card samples were identical in terms of hardware and performance to retail cards. However, the review cards have been set to OC mode, which favors performance over power efficiency, whereas retail cards are set to gaming mode by default which strikes a balance between performance and power draw. Card owners can and are encouraged to use both companies' included software to switch modes if they prefer, but MSI and ASUS say they configure review samples to OC mode by default, since card reviewers rarely change modes and are looking for max performance. Eugh! What do you guys think? Is this underhanded or merely a misunderstanding? Leave a comment. It's time for... Shorter news stories said more quickly than the others. Why, thank you, G-Town Thor. I think you've given all of us something to think about. The rest of you submit a clip of yourself saying shorter news stories said more quickly than the others to at Barrett Murdoch, that's me, or at NCIX Tech Tips to get featured. Are, are you supposed to say the, the, the at thing when you say Twitter things? I, I don't know. Anyways. Twitter and Vine are both expanding the length of videos that can be posted up to 140 seconds. Vines that show up in your feed will still be 6 seconds, but they can also be used as a trailer that redirects to a longer video, which will also support widescreen formats. OpenAI, a nonprofit artificial intelligence startup funded by Elon Musk, is apparently working on techniques that would allow robots to perform basic housework. Now we'll have a Roomba and a robot to switch the Roomba on. It's genius. Here's a PSA. HP is issuing a battery recall for a number of their laptop lines. Head to the news sources in the forum post to check if you're one of those affected. The FAA passed its new rules for drone operation. Among the regulations are a required remote pilot certificate, a ban on night flying, a max altitude of 400 feet, and a line of sight requirement. The wild west days of the drone are over. And Google has updated its two-factor authentication app, so now you can just approve requests to sign in from your phone instead of copying down secret codes like it's World War II. News sources from all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. Sati Haru Kolagi Yo Hat Salam Ho Dunsman Haru Kolagi Yo Hat Falam Ho. And that's all I have to say about that. Now if you don't know, we here at NCIX Tech Tips like to acknowledge the support that all you people give us by subscribing to the channel. So we give out a new prize every month. This month's prize is a G-Skill Ripjaws KM789 RGB Mechanical Gaming Keyboard with Cherry MX Brown Switches. All you gotta do to win this guy is 
A, subscribe to the channel, and B, comment on any video from June. That is it, people, and that's the one that you gotta do. We announce the winners the first week of the next month, which is in this case, July, if I'm correct. Uh, so leave a comment. It could be anything. Literally anything, most likely something to do with the particular video. But if you want to wax poetic about your exotic bottle cap collection, for example, be my guest. Anything could happen, I'm, and we're open to all possibilities here at, here at the Tech Tip Station. All right. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. Click over here to watch more videos. Follow us on the social medias over here. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. So, how'd you like the new content in this episode? You like the whole tech news thing, or do you want us to go back to doing tech news? It's really important to us. Please leave a comment. I will read them. Farewell.